It's a heavyweight championship fight between the last style vendor, Israel Adesanya, and Conor McGregor. Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Adesanya is 31. McGregor is 32. Adesanya will have a six-inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the world. And he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Israel Adesanya gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Effective strike there by McGregor. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Just missing on the high kick there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Back to the jab now, no good. Under three minutes, remain in round one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Watch the strike. There's no tell on that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Oh, a nice straight there by Adesanya. Oh, nice. Nice kick. 
Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all those. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. And he's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Massive head kick. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice head kick. Big ball from Crunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this game. I mean, there's no stop, and there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style bender. He's a character. He's, he, he just has it, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. So 44 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Conor McGregor. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hates to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the out. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that point. What a tricky head kick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. 
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh! All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Adesanya's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Israel Adesanya's strike attempt there is blocked. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. It's messed up really bad. More often than not, when he is struck, he has landed. 86 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya and landing with 33% accuracy against Conor McGregor. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Oh, and yet another knee finds a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Two minutes now to go. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big leg can land. Hands higher, hands higher. Israel Adesanya gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Good stick. He's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at him whipping his hips into that kick. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him up here. For him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's up. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was 
landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.